Stranger things have happened than this, but the fact that rivals Kenya, Ethiopia and Eritrea have all been booked in the same hotel, Hotel Brda in Bidgosh, Poland, is sure to raise the stakes, with less than one day to the World Cross Country Championships. Today, Team Kenya began their day with an IAAF out-of-season doping test, a procedure that may have been necessitated by the number of local athletes that have been banned for doping over the last few months. Thereafter, Coach Rono's squad bundled into the hotel bus and began the 20-minute journey to Mishlaum Chinak course. Hey. Now, these are the grounds where the IAAF World Cross Country 2013 Championships will be taking place. A big banner there, and right next to it should be the start or the finish line covered with snow as of this morning. But this grader at the moment is trying to ensure that this place is cleared for the convenience of the athletes who will be participating on Sunday. Now up there is a stage and that's where we expect officials and spectators to watch all the action from on Sunday and right next to it a small blue tent. Also we believe that will be used by the officials. But all the action is to my far right and those are the hills and valleys where the uh, athletes will be running at 12 kilometers, the 8 kilometers and the 6 kilometers as well. The Kenya team was there this morning and they've been trying to get a feel of the track as they prepare for Sunday. Now the temperature here we checked in a restaurant just down the road is negative three degrees celsius just to give you an idea of how cold it is it is so cold that water is freezing even as it comes out of the taps and on sunday all predictions are is that it's going to be negative 10 degrees celsius food for thought for kenya's uh, athletes kenya's technical bench even as they continue to get ready with less than 48 hours to the 2013 world cross country champion stand in the hill stand in the hill pour it pour it we stand in the hill Team Kenya carried out a light one-hour training session that allowed them to gauge the track where their compatriots swept all the medals in 2010. Mostly we are going to work on the muscles because we need those muscles to be strong for endurance and also to, to make sure that they are not uh, like feeling frozen in a way. So me and my colleague here, Sam, we are just going to work on their muscles to ensure that there is uh, enough circulation and there is strength in the muscles and also there is more endurance in that muscles. Emily Chebet, Margaret Wangare, Hosea Macharinyang and Japheth Korir are the only four athletes out of the 24 who were there in 2010 and it is hoped that they, together with the fresh faces, will be able to bring Kenya's glory back home. Upon returning to the Breda Hotel for lunch, we chanced upon a group of Scottish cross-country enthusiasts who can fondly remember the 2007 World Cross-Country Championships in Mombasa. Oh, I was in Mombasa in 2007. Uh, we've been to numerous uh, World Cross-Countries, but it was one of the best because of the, the support for the local people there. Enthusiasm was brilliant. And the welcome was terrific. Yeah, yeah. They've attended every World Cross Country Championship since then, and their prediction for the winner of the event has never changed. They have their money and their sights set solely on Team Kenya. <laughs> Expected to be quite cold this weekend, but uh, see some hot action out there on the on the track. See them running well, <laughs> and uh, and see another Kenyan victory. For Citizen Sports, I'm Wahiga Muaura in Bidgosh, Poland.